Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. God is the God of signs and wonders. It is difficult to understand the works of God, but we have the gift of the Holy Spirit, who helps us in discerning the signs and wonders of God, although only to a limited extent. This time, the Holy Spirit reveals something very similar. God is bringing a divine wave right after the lunar eclipse in November, and 14 million people will be affected by it. God gave me a shocking vision on the night of the lunar eclipse. When I was praying with an intensity like never before, I was so deeply involved in the prayer that I started feeling a presence around me. It was surely the presence of the Holy Spirit. As soon as I felt His presence, I immediately felt relaxed and peaceful, and every concern regarding the increasing chaos in the world disappeared. It was like a sudden miracle for me, but that was not the only thing to be surprised by. What I saw and heard next from the Holy Spirit was far more shocking, divine, and comforting at the same time. I want to share with you what I saw in a vision and what I heard from the Holy Spirit afterward. So allow me to praise the Spirit of the Lord for a moment for speaking to His people through His chosen vessels, reaching the eyes and ears of His people in different ways, and giving them the necessary guidance in the midst of increasing chaos and the storms of life. I thank you, Holy Spirit, and I pray that you will speak through me, showing me whatever you want to convey to your people at this moment. I pray that I will speak exactly what you are placing in my heart and that you will only call the people here to hear these words who are meant to receive them, whether now or later, so that no one should feel deceived. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Now, children of God, let me tell you what happened to me on the night of the lunar eclipse. I heard the sound of a great rushing wind sweeping through the atmosphere. It wasn't As I continued to pray, my spirit was lifted beyond the veil of this earthly realm, and I saw a great and mighty vision. The Holy Spirit began to speak, saying, Behold, the signs are aligning, behold the wonders in the heavens. Know this, children of God, every celestial event, every supernatural occurrence happens only by the will of the Father. There is nothing on this earth, above it or beneath it, that does not bow to the command of the Almighty. Even the stars and the planets, the moon and the sun, all move in accordance with His divine plan. In this moment, God revealed to me that the lunar eclipse, which had cast its shadows over the earth, was not just a phenomenon of nature, it was a divine announcement. The Holy Spirit spoke with urgency and authority, saying, this eclipse marks the beginning of a new wave, a wave of deliverance, a wave of comfort in the midst of the chaos that surrounds my people. Just as darkness covers the moon, so shall I cover my children with my protection. Those who are seeking refuge, those who are crying out for justice, those who have been oppressed and cast down, they shall see my hand move swiftly on their behalf. Oh, people of God, hear this. The Lord is declaring that justice is coming swiftly after this lunar eclipse. The injustices that have weighed heavily on the hearts of His children, the burdens that have been carried for so long, are about to be lifted. The Holy Spirit continued, saying, My vengeance will be poured out for those who have suffered in silence. Immediate justice, immediate deliverance is being released in this hour. The tables are turning. What the enemy meant for harm, I am turning for good. So remember, dear child of God, God is the God of signs and wonders. From the parting of the Red Sea to the stopping of the sun in the sky for Joshua, he has always used the heavens to declare his will and his purposes to mankind. And now, once again, he is speaking through the signs in the sky. The lunar eclipse or the solar eclipse that is coming is not just a cosmic event. It is God's way of grabbing our attention, of shaking us awake, of reminding us that He's still on the throne and His plans are unfolding right before our eyes.
As the vision continued, I saw multitudes of angels descending from heaven. They were carrying what looked like scrolls of justice, ready to be delivered to the earth. Then I heard the Holy Spirit say again, These scrolls contain the verdicts that have already been decided in the courts of heaven. Those who have cried for vindication, those who have waited for restitution, will now receive it. Their oppressors will no longer have the upper hand, for I am the God of righteousness, and I will repay every injustice. So, children of God, do not be afraid of what you see happening in the world. Though the nations rage and the earth trembles, God is moving behind the scenes. What looks like chaos to us is the unfolding of his divine plan. The lunar eclipse is just the beginning of a season where the supernatural will break through the natural. The boundaries between heaven and earth are thinning, and we are about to witness manifestations of God's power in ways we have never seen before. I must tell you this, what is coming after this lunar eclipse is unprecedented. The Spirit of the Lord is clearly saying that this wave of deliverance will touch not just individuals, but entire nations. It will lift people from their struggling phase, from their dark place, from their troubles. 14 million people will experience this move of God. There will be miraculous healings, sudden turns, and breakthroughs in areas where hope seemed lost. Chains will break, doors will open, and what has been held back for years will be released in an instant. As I continued in prayer, I felt the weight of God's glory resting on me like never before. The Holy Spirit was showing me that this eclipse was not just a sign of deliverance but also a warning to the nations. The darkness that briefly covers the moon is a reminder that there is a time of reckoning coming for those who have rejected God's mercy, for those who have mocked his name, and for those who have oppressed his people. The Lord said, My justice is not only for the righteous, but my judgment is also reserved for the wicked. Just as I am bringing comfort to my people, I am also bringing swift and terrible judgment to those who have defied me. The time of playing games is over, the time of lukewarm faith is over. I am drawing a line in the sand, and those who do not stand with me will experience the weight of my judgment. My heart immediately trembled as I heard these words. This is not just a message to be taken lightly, dear children of God. God is speaking, and we must listen. This lunar eclipse, or the upcoming solar eclipse, is a sign that we are entering a time of separation, a time when God will distinguish between those who are His and those who are not. He's drawing His people closer, but He's also calling out those who have turned away. Children of God, the hour is late, but the Spirit of the Lord is moving with power and might. He's releasing a wave of comfort, deliverance, and justice after this lunar eclipse. So do not miss what God is doing. Press in, pray like never before, and prepare your hearts for the mighty move that is coming. For now, without any further delay, let us pray, Heavenly Father, we come before you in awe of your majesty, acknowledging that you are the God of signs and wonders. You hold the universe in your hands, and every celestial event, every supernatural occurrence, happens by your will. Lord, we recognize that this lunar eclipse or the upcoming solar eclipse is not just a cosmic event, but a divine signal from heaven alerting us to the times we're living in. You have declared that a wave of deliverance and justice is about to sweep across the earth, touching the lives of millions. We position ourselves humbly before you in anticipation. Father, we thank you for the Holy Spirit who reveals to us the deeper mysteries of your heart. We thank you that in the midst of chaos, confusion, and uncertainty, you remain our rock and refuge. We praise you for the peace that surpasses all understanding, for even in the darkest moments, your light shines and guides us. As we stand on the edge of this prophetic moment, Lord, 
we ask that you prepare our hearts and minds to receive all that you are about to release. Lord, we pray for the outpouring of your justice. You are the righteous judge who sees every tear, every injustice, and every cry for help. Father, we lift up those who have been wronged, those who have been oppressed, and those who have been waiting for vindication. We declare that your justice will not be delayed any longer. In the name of Jesus, we call for the immediate release of every blessing, every breakthrough, and every promise that has been held back. Let your justice flood the earth, bringing righteousness where there has been injustice and peace where there has been turmoil. Lord, we thank you for the wave of deliverance that is coming. You are the God who delivers his people from the snare of the enemy. We speak deliverance over every life that has been bound by fear, sickness, oppression, and the lies of the enemy. Let chains break right now in Jesus' name. Let your freedom flow through families, nations, and communities, setting captives free and releasing those who have been held in bondage. Father, we pray that your people will not miss this moment. Stir up the hearts of your children to seek you like never before. Let a spirit of prayer and intercession rise within us, that we may stand firm in the face of the enemy's schemes. Keep us alert and vigilant, Lord, for we know that the enemy prowls like a roaring lion, but you have given us the victory through Christ Jesus. We pray that no distraction, no confusion, and no fear will keep us from receiving all that you have for us in this season. Father, we stand in expectation of the mighty move of your hand. We receive the blessings, the breakthroughs, and the justice that you have promised. We thank you in advance for the miracles that are about to unfold, and we give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen.